Football Sniper. Hi. He's a fucking major winner, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come here. Come here. I just oh, hold him by the collar. Sir. I love dogs. Yeah. I love animals. Do you bring it? Hey. Oh. oh! He won't bite you. He won't bite you. It's also uh, sometimes guys. He's a much bigger fan of women. I've trained him that way. Who so. isn't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Did I seem nervous? Tobol almost bit the hand of a guy who owns a green jacket. You know what the I would have. <laughs> That's cool. Good. Yesterday wasn't easy. I had to say goodbye to my best friend. Thought to the end we'd be homies. But by the end, he didn't even know me. So I went and made some new friends. They didn't know a thing about me. So I went and grew some tough skin. That's when I grew into the new me. Hey, Bob Mandarin to see President Obama. I'm sorry? Oh, sorry. Is this the Callaway event? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's Bob Mandarin, B-O-B-M-E-N-E-R-Y. Let me open the gate for you. Obama. Thank you so much. Is Obama here, by the way? No? Okay. <laughs> we are in business, gentlemen, I tell you what. Feeling good. Packing a bomber. What are you looking forward to today, Bob? We're at the, we're at the, we're at the launch here for the Epic Flash. I tell you what. Uh, I don't know. I mean, look, hit some golf balls, meet some cute girls, pack a couple lips, have a couple cocktails. You know how I do it, Eric. I like to get fucked up at these things. <laughs> Embarrass myself. You're like, is like, do you? A lot of people look at Smash Factor with the driver. Do you have, do you have a different, uh, do you have a different definition of success for yourself? I can give two shits. I just come out here, get fucked up, and that's it. Once again, good talks, Jim. See ya. <laughs> What's the ball? Come on. Big guy. All right. See you guys in there. First looks at the epic flash. I mean, speechless. I would love to just show you the most fucked up swing on earth right now. Putting together an extra stiff 90 degree driver. I've been doing this for 20 years. You can't do that. I can't? No. Why? Would it throw you off? Just as long as you make contact, we're in a good spot. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, I'm good. And we're done. What else do you want? <laughs> How about a three wood with that driver? Great. <laughs> uh, 112, more importantly, just tells me what shaft flex to play with. So you should be in an X. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what the make of the model is at this point, but definitely play with an extra step. Um, launch angle is on the high side, yeah. right at 18, mainly because of hit location, because you hit high on the face. Right, right. right? So vertical gear effect takes over, high launch, low spin. Yeah, got it. Um, no. You're at sea level, so I'm not sure where you're from, but 283 carry out to 300, pretty solid. Yeah, good yeah. for me. So that was with a standard flash. Let's try a uh, cool. flash sub zero. I'm gonna choke down a little bit and see if I can get a little more smash. I'm gonna choke down and see if I can get more smash. Did you catch that? <laughs> we got it. I'm gonna try not to murder this one. Pretty good spot. Pretty good spot. Just wanna real quick. 300.3, yeah. That's up to 300, yeah. We're just looking at, you know, basically, if you're above 300, you obviously aren't good at golf. And then if you are, you're better, you're better. How was your fitting? It was not as, uh, it didn't go as well as planned. The machine exploded right when I hit balls. I had a minus 9.9 thing with a circle around it and basically the guy said I was a big pussy because I could only hit the ball 245 yards. So overall Eric to answer your question not so fucking well. So we have an idea. Okay. This scares me a little bit. It should. I mean it should ideally scare you a little bit. Basically we were thinking of you know like what could we do here differently. Okay. Right. Like I like that. We fit the club. I liked it. I got it. It went straight, the, the straighter than normal, which I think is like you've drugged me. That's the goal. That's yeah, I think that's, there's that's drugs the involved. Yeah. But what I kind of want to like basically cut the driver in half. 
Like at the shaft? No, no, like like the yeah, hacks. I want to go. I want to. I want to just cut it in half because okay. I feel like I don't know. I feel like people at home haven't seen that. And I feel like we just cut it. In That'd half. be cool. What are you gonna What are you gonna use? Like a butter knife? Oh, we're looking at it. I tell you what. Let's do that because on the inside is where all of our technology is anyway. That actually be pretty cool. No, we're having a photo shoot with Snowball. <laughs> <laughs> Snowball is a very, very big hit. Very photogenic. Aren't you Snow? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> How to get a dog photo. That was First really, of all, that was really good teaching the dog to sit on a snap did take a while. It took a while. It shouldn't. I feel like that's the most basic dog command. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> How's it going, Amanda? What's going on here? Um, well, we are doing something a little bit different. Callie likes to do things differently. Yeah. So we invited a bunch of influencers from... Can we think of a new name other than influencer? I hate that. I like to think of journalists. What do you well, think but like Bryce Butler's not a journalist. That's true. You That's know, true. so I, we have like NFL players, right. major championship winners, hey, up, Miss Americas. Yeah, yeah. Journalists. Me. Snowball. Me. So I don't dog. know. <laughs> These are people that I think really love the game of golf and have a really great community of people. So we're asking them to come here, test out the new products, and just talk to their community about it, right? Because right. we think it's the best stuff out there. Right. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's a good thing, right? To be that confident that we're not telling people what to say, what to post, anything like that. We're like, hey, here's all a new product in a really cool setting. Do your thing. Yeah, and it's like a party. Yeah. Right, it's, it's like a, a party. day party. Only my whole day has been spent chasing around Snowball trying to get him to love me. Well, that's what's cool about here is like, you know, when you come to this event, you could look at people as competitors or yeah. contemporaries. Right. And how do you do that? Because I mean, you work in so many different areas. You know, I, th I was just having this conversation with someone. I think when you aren't where you want to be in your career, everyone's a competitor. Right. Right? right. But the minute you find where you're supposed to be, right. then you're no longer a competitor. Everyone is just someone that can help you or you can help them along, along the way. So right. yeah, I went from being very competitive because I wasn't where I wanted to be to then finally kind of getting to the point in my career where I want to be, and now everyone's my best friend. Exactly. Except for Snowball. But we're working. <laughs> Let's make it happen, bud. But we're, we're, hi, Snowball, Snowball. Redone over the last six months, or, or year, whatever. Okay. But it opened up like six months ago, so all this putting studio, brand new, um, where you get custom putter fittings. Snowball, come in here. Oh, He's a oh look, we already got Drain We already got two guys grinding on here. Oh, okay. sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, come on. Be, be nice. Forget, okay. the, forget the fittings. Okay. I like, yeah. I'm like his agent. Did <laughs> 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 you, you see he get his undercarriage shape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, Colton. Colton? What? Colton. What's up, man? Colton. 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 Yeah. C O T O N. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What's up, man? Evan. Cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you want to know what my go-to first date has been? Yes. Mini golf. Wow. You know why? Why? Because you could test out their athleticism while carrying a conversation. And dude, it's just the overall win. Right. Well, and you get that kind of like, how do they deal with frustration? Yes. What is their competitive level? Yes. Like, are they trying to play against you or with you? Or are they friendly? But like, it, right. dude, it's, right. the, it's got everything. Mini golf has like the full package for a first date. What is that experience like of being on The Bachelor? Um, honestly, for me, I had a blast with it because I've never been able to travel in my life because I've never had more than two weeks off because of the sport. So I get to travel the world and I had an opportunity to date 30 women. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're already ahead of me, and I've just I've been living for 37 yeah. years, so. Yeah. The mini golf thing, I actually think that's a really fun first date, because one, it's not too long, right? right. So you're not committed to like a sit down dinner, but I'm not sure if it shows off athleticism. Not about even <laughs> athleticism. I just want them to be passionate and try. Okay, you know, that's fair. Like so just it, it shows it shows personality. Can I ask so, you something real quick back yes. to the dating stuff? Yes. What's your like deal breaker on a first date? Ooh, I have so many. That's what my mom says. I have too many. All right, go ahead. Listen, we got ten. <laughs> I had a guy once show up in cargo shorts. Done. Um, <laughs> I, I agree with that. <laughs> right? You can't show up in no. cargo right? shorts. Funny. Right. And not competitive. Like. Right. I feel like a lot of guys start, like try to show off too much on first dates, and like it just shows big insecurities. So I'm out on that. So if they, they bring up an ex-girlfriend, if they bring up an ex on the first date, done. Can't do that. No. What if you ask? I would never ask. Okay. I don't care. Okay, I was gonna say because if you ask, then you'd be done. Right. <laughs> Whoa, that's true. <laughs> but on the Bachelor, guys, different. The you have to talk about that stuff immediately. See, the thing about the Bachelor is it's reverse dating. So you get into really serious, meaningful conversations right, right off the bat, 
and then you save like the fun stuff like favorite movie, favorite food, favorite color yeah. for like after you propose, which seems right like ass backwards, right? Right. Yes. But it works. It's the craziest thing, but it works. Right. Hi, How happy you? new Thanks year. For all this you just, Chip, you just made it. me look so cool. Really? Yes, <laughs> Chip Brewer, our yeah. CEO, yeah. Our, the man Hi, behind Callaway Golf. Chip, nice to meet you, Jared. I went from Bachelorette <laughs> to Paradise to Bachelor. You were on Bachelor in Paradise? Yes. <laughs> Bro, that is my jam. <laughs> I don't watch my... Bachelor, I watch Bachelor in Paradise. All right, hold on. That was my personal hell. Really? I'm a big believer in look good, play good, and like you look good, you feel good. Yeah. So I might as well be with a good brand and like feel good. I agree. So. so what's your go-to golf outfit? You're about looking at it. This idea might not make it into the cut, so we might just bleep out the rest of this, but here's a really good idea. It's a show called Basically And they talk about On a golf course. That's awesome. I'm here for that. So there's one of these moments where, you know, you shake someone's hand, you say, I'm Eric, and you say Roger Cleveland, it's like, whoa. Do people do that a lot to you? No. They don't? <laughs> do you just spend your life practicing short game? Mm, well, I'm, I'm focusing on that because that's the product that I'm, I'm really involved with now, the wedges. But uh, most amateurs spend very little time and they don't take lessons. So their, their technique, and it's, it's the one area where you can improve your game the fastest because it doesn't take strength, it takes technique. Absolutely. Nice to be with you. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate Thank you. it. Living legend. That's cool, man. We need to end the podcast, everybody. Okay, goodbye. It's done, and thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they have a hot tub. I brought my board shorts, you guys better have brought them. I brought undies. Let's go. <laughs> That's yeah. enough, my friend. Can we hit the tub right now? Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Sunset. Snowball. <laughs> it has been a long day. Honestly, I think all in all, the new driver is legit. But more importantly, Callaway is just a forward thinking company that is like, you know, I don't know, just they've been, they're down for the head. You know what I mean? And I think that's what's really cool about golf industry people is when they look at everything as a business as a dollar you're like that's not interesting cool about Callaway is they just see it as like you know they call us creators which i thought was a nice compliment you know what i mean and now we're gonna have a dip in the tub watching the official unofficial golf guide to scotland by the hot tub which is what you do <laughs> Google the old man was so sweet, they sent. Ghost cheese. What's up, boys? <laughs> We're always trying to learn from other people's processes. Guys, get in. I'm in my underwear. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can hold me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hold me down. You, 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 yeah, babe. You, 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 you I love down. golf. Yeah. You can hold me down. You, 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 you can hold me down. You can hold me down.